Today Woolworths enters the hardware market buying Danks Holdings. Westpac has raised 1.5 billion US dollars in non-guaranteed bonds. Westfield is rumoured to be eyeing a $3 billion rights issue and action in the exotic worlds of drugs and fashion. Good morning, I'm Michael Feller with Deals TV. Woolworths has bought Danks, the supplier of Home, Thrifty Link, Plants Plus and 939 independent stores for $87.6 million. Woolworths has also launched plans to build 150 Bunnings style home improvement stores, which it will do with the help of US giant Lowy's. Check out Bartho's column for more details. Westpac has meanwhile made its first non-guaranteed public offshore bond issue this year. According to debt markets newsletter Insto, the 1.5 billion US dollar raising was led by Bank of America Merrill Lynch and JP Morgan. It follows on the heels of other renewed activity in fixed income, with the New South Wales Treasury Corporation issuing $800 million worth of bonds last week and Suncor selling $1.5 billion worth of residential mortgage-backed securities. Westfield Group, which reports tomorrow, has meanwhile been buoyed by a share price rally. Some are attributing this to punters wanting to buy more shares ahead of a possible $3 billion rights issue. The shopping centre group has already raised almost that figure earlier this year. Also showing signs of activity is the global pharmaceutical industry. Just as omens of consolidation have excited investors in funds management and bookmaking, what we covered in breakfast deals this morning, investors are tipping more takeovers between drugs companies. A Wall Street Journal report has tipped that a wave of smaller takeovers are around the corner following a spate of mega mergers. Deals by acquisitive American companies in the low billions could thus be a boon for Aussie drug makers. Then again, the Times of London has reported that the man who tipped the collapse of Enron, Jim Chanos, is betting against Big Pharma, which he thinks is growing far too fast. Yesterday, Warner Chilcott, an Irish drugs company, agreed to buy the prescription medicine unit of Procter & Gamble for 3.1 billion US dollars. Fashion is an industry perhaps only directly linked to the drug business after Perth's Costarella Design transformed itself into a Singapore-based liver treatment centre. But over there, there's deals as well. Media has reported that Prada is in talks with the, sale of a mon with the sale of a minority stake in the company, while Americans women's retailer Charlotte Roos has agreed to be acquired by private equity. Plus, of course, there's IPOs for Maya and adult clothing company Kathmandu. Plus, there's this morning's results for Suncor and Foster's, so keep an eye on the website throughout the day for such breaking news and analysis. In the meantime, I'm Michael Feller for Wheels and Deals. See you tomorrow.